Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I want to do today... <laughs> Gotta love my peacocks. Anyway, where was I? Uh, so I want to talk about the Bravo 5, finish up kind of my series of going through most of the SIG, what they call electro-optics. The Bravo 5 is what they call a battle sight. If we look up the definition of a battle sight, it's, in a, it's an arrangement of sights for rapid aiming at short distances i would add to that and say rapid aiming for short to modern distances as most of the battle sites you know mo most everybody's uh, familiar or heard of the acog they usually have what's called a bdc or a bullet drop compensator they have some sort of etching on the glass that allows you to quickly transition from short to moderate distances and the bravo 5 is no exception to that now, the Bravo series is referred to as prismatic optics. What is the difference between the prismatic optic like the Bravo versus the Red Dot Romeo series? Let's just take a quick look here. A prism optic is kind of a cross between a regular scope and a Red Dot sight. You have some of the advantages and disadvantages of both. The advantages of the prism over the Red Dot is you're going to have the etched reticle and the big thing is, is magnification. And that's going to extend your range. You're going to have a clear, bright image. And most have a diopter correction for focus. So if you have corrective vision. And then the disadvantages are going to be much shorter eye relief. It's going to be a lot more like a scope. The magnification is fixed, which I really don't like for CQC. You're not going to be able to shoot both eyes open depending on the magnification and then it's going to be a lot bigger and heavier than a red dot so let's just run through the basics of the bravo 5. this particular model of the bravo 5 is the 5 by 32 millimeter objective this is one of the first wide field battle sites they call it the mega view this increases your field of view by 43 percent it has a six degree field of view Prismatic red dot illuminated. It is a robust optic. Weight coming in just a little over 23 ounces. It's got eight daytime and three night vision modes. It's got an adjustable eyepiece. The correction for windage and elevation is 0.5 MOA clicks. It takes the ever popular CR2032 battery. The great thing is, is that gives you 40,000 hours of use because this has MOTAC, motion activated, which I absolutely love. One of the things I love most about my SIG optics, it turns on and off by itself. So if you're familiar with my channel, if you follow, you know when it comes to optics, I got a particular torture test that I like to do. Not going to be any different with the Bravo 5. Let's put it through the torture test, see how it does. We're going to give this one a little bit better torture test as far as the submersion because the IPX rating is a 7 to an 8, depending on where you see it. What's interesting is on SIG's webpage, they have it listed as both 7 or 8, so I'm not sure which it is. But either way, that means that it's going to take a decent submersion for a period of time. Let's check it out. Okay, so from what I can tell, it passed the torture test with flying colors. What I want to do now is we've got it mounted after the torture test. I'm going to show you the FOV, the field of view at the different distances, and then we're going to shoot at those distances and see how it does. If there's any kind of condensation or water that got in, we'll see that when we're looking through the scope. Let's take a look.
Hey, if you like this video, if you follow my channel, make sure and check out my webpage. Use my links. I've got some online courses here. Check those out. 30-day money-back guarantee and optics and anything else that I can find that Amazon sells related to guns. Check out my Amazon store. I got some crazy, stupid deals there. Thank you guys for your support. Couldn't do it without you. That was awesome. I love the field of view, especially out at 400. I did have to wait until kind of it was evening so that the wind would die down. You know, this is using a PSA that I recently did a review on. We only got a seven and a half inch barrel. We're using the Wolf ammo. So, you know, at 400 yards with a little bit of wind, it's really pushing that bullet around. This round is not particularly a high BC. The Bravo 5 with the different objective sizes comes for either 556 five, or 300 blackout one of the things that right off the bat that i notice is it's a five power obviously but that's going to really limit for close quarters when you're in the trees for me at least i can't do it both eyes open in that respect i would like to see quick detach on here so that if i had a need for for that for close quarters I could quickly remove this and either have pop-up iron sights or I could interchange between like I did the Romeo 7 and I really like that for close quarters or the Romeo 5 or the Romeo 8 or something. This is nice and small and compact. This would fit in a pack or a pocket or something a whole lot easier than a full-size scope and this is going to get me accurately out at some distance. I would much rather carry this around than you know a traditional scope. So maybe that's something we'd see in the future that's probably the biggest thing uh issue that i have with this is i want a quick detach take it on and off so what's my final take on the bravo five for what it is a battle site i'm gonna go five stars it's not gonna for me replace my romeos i love my romeo five i love the romeo eight i do like it for the ability to reach out Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Until next time, happy shooting and be safe.